what's going on everybody all right now i've gotten a lot of feedback um from the recent video i put out about um suggestions uh, i still cannot thank you guys enough for the response to this it's uh it's been amazing and the subscriptions is just i'm 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 blown away thank you guys so much again um i'm gonna start a securement series uh, this first one is going to be pretty basic but i'm going to show you a couple of things i'm going to show you how i secure my straps inside of a winch but i'm also going to show you how i set my winches up and it's a lot different from other people i get comments at shippers and receivers and even at truck stops sometimes um, about everybody says i have my stuff backwards uh, we'll get to that towards the end of the video when i wrap it up so yeah let's kick off this securement series right all right number one let's see what we got we have a 30 foot fork rack now this is used you can see the forks nine feet the rack itself is 30. Uh, this goes on a massive machine here it just kind of hooks on you can see there that scares in the machine and uh this this usually these, these are usually used to lift up like a uh, massive wall panels like preformed wall uh building you know uh, mega mega stores like you know walmart and stuff like that uh any anything that's pre-made uh, so let's uh let's go ahead and get some straps over this i'm not going to use any edge protection because it's so low profile i'm not going to get any buzz i am going to twist my straps anyway because that's just something i do but uh we'll go ahead and strap this down and then i'll get into how i secure everything so just real quick here let i don't let, let's just get it real basic okay let's how many straps would i need to strap this down it's 30 feet long it's steel it weighs 6,000 pounds Okay, now the working load limit on a typical four inch strap is 5,500 pounds. Usually on your little two inch ratchet straps, it's 33, 33, 33. Um, so, you know, two of each should cover the whole load, right? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because this is 30 foot long. The FMCSR list that anything has to be strapped 10 feet. It's every 10 feet with two straps in the front. If it's not blocked or braced or has a bulkhead. Now, is this considered a bulkhead? The front the neck of my trailer will it stop this from forward momentum absolutely absolutely considered a bulkhead i do not need two straps and i've heard within the first four feet within the first 10 feet uh, the fmcsr says 10 feet usually when i put my straps up front though it's a lot closer than that i would i would typically if this was forty-five thousand pounds and there was no if i had just had an open deck flatbed skateboard uh, i would probably put a strap right in front of this piece of dunnage right behind it that's not the case here uh, that's after the fact but anyway okay so 30 feet so we need at least a minimum of what three straps would that cover this absolutely i don't do it that way <laughs> um i was taught a long time ago that uh every four feet for lumber now this is heavy loads too this is way back to when i was in a semi you know this is heavier stuff it's never failed me I've got the space, I've got the straps, I've got the time. There's no reason not to do this. You can always over secure. You can usually under secure one time. Remember that. So I'll go every six feet, 30 foot divided by six, probably going to be five straps. Let's go ahead and count them out. We'll do one, one at the dunnage. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or not. I'm sure most of you do, but here's a small lesson. Stake pockets, two feet apart. So let's start here spools are the same so that spools directly over the piece of dunnage i'm going to do let's go six foot from that be three spools one two three six more foot i'm going to toss the strap there one two three six more foot toss the strap there one two three one more strap one two now see i ran out of room right here and my track ends right here so what will i do i'll throw a strap where it ends and because of the tandems i have one welded winch so that's where my last strap will go so we've got a total of one two three four five six straps on this load is that overkill yes do i mind no I, i'm much more at ease knowing that this thing isn't going to wiggle around it's not going to move it's not going to bounce that's how I do it. it. Doesn't have to be how you do it. it. Does does not have to be how you do it. That's just how I do it. That's all I'm showing you guys how I do it. Let's get to strapping it. Okay. 
same way I started this. Pull my strap over, get my twist in it. Pull it under. Until about it's until about right there. Probably about two and a half feet over the the rub rail. Put it through the rub rail. Bring the back out. Bring your slack all the way up. Keep everything straight. About that much. Roll end over end. Once I have slack this long, so you pull another round out of it. Kind of use this as a as a little bit of edge protection. Just slide it right under. Just like that. Um, another thing you can do. If this wasn't so short and I didn't have so much slack, set my tripod up here, okay, is I would take this down, put one more round into it, pull this under, and you just trap it in the rub rail with your strap. Once you tighten that up, it's going nowhere. But in this case, I'm gonna use it as somewhat edge protection being that it's so long because this load's so short. The next thing I do is a lot different than people do. Uh, I had one guy tell me it was illegal. <laughs> it's not. So, bring your guard over. Bring this down. Pinch it at the bottom. Roll it up. thing you probably noticed is another thing I wanted to show and that's everybody thinks my winches are backwards I love winches like this I've seen people lose a lot of teeth and have to have reconstructive surgery for having their winches the other way a lot of reasons why number one this is a low pro trailer I don't have a lot of room before I hit the ground to tighten I'm always smashing the ground with the bar another thing is when you're putting all that pressure going down, you almost have to stand over it. I mean, you can't really put a lot of pressure on in front of you. You almost have to stand over it. And if one of these teeth lock out or pop from the tension of this load, that bar is coming right up into your face every single time. With these backwards, I control everything pulling up. If I take the tension off this, and this bar flies anywhere, it's going straight to the floor. And it's not gonna fly out because it's, it's only two feet from the ground. Protect your face, people. Love having my winches like this. That's all there is to it. Strapping's easy. 
Hope you comment, like, subscribe. We're going to do a lot more securement videos. This was just the basic, and I wanted to show you my winches. And I wanted to show you about length and uh, uh, strap placement. So we'll see you guys next time.